so here when both are connected in series okay so r is equal to r1 plus r2 now uh, because both are having resistances r so therefore it becomes 2r now after the temperature is increased so therefore we have r1 plus okay this is r equivalent r equivalent 1 plus alpha into t is equal to r1 it becomes r1 plus alpha 1t plus r2 which is again r only 1 plus alpha 2t why r1 and r2 is equal to r because that's mentioned they have the same resistances so therefore we have r equivalent which is equal to r1 which is equal to 2r so 2r plus 2r alpha t is equal to 2r plus r into t alpha 1 plus alpha 2 2r into r is gone r and r is also gone t in t is also gone so therefore the alpha becomes alpha 1 plus alpha 2 divided by 2 okay but now when they are connected in parallel so we have in parallel this is the parallel okay so we have 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by r plus 1 by r of course r1 and r2 now it is uh, the magnitude of the, both of them is going to be the same so therefore it is going to be 2 by r so therefore r equivalent becomes r divided by 2 this is the first equation second equation is so what we do is we differentiate both of them so this becomes minus dr by r equivalent whole square is equal to minus dr1 by r1 square minus d r2 by r2 whole square of course this is 2 so now we put in the values so minus dr what was r equivalent r equivalent initially it was r by 2 so therefore it becomes r square by 4 which is equal to minus of dr1 by r1 square r1 square is again r square minus dr2 it's again r square gone 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 now what was this minus dr equivalent okay so what was dr equivalent so dr equivalent is going to be uh, minus 4 into dr equivalent is going to be r by 2 1 plus alpha into t which is equal to minus of dr1 which is r alpha 1t and this is r alpha 2 into t gone gone this is 2 this all thing becomes plus and uh, okay so this actually a dr is this much okay this was r you know like new r so therefore it's going to be 2 r alpha t is equal to r t alpha 1 plus alpha 2 r t and r t is gone so therefore alpha again becomes alpha 1 plus alpha 2 divided by 2 so we'll just kind of you know uh, i'll just tell what exactly we have done here so basically differentiated this to this equation and we got this now uh, r equivalent we know that it is r by 2 so therefore we write r square by 4 and therefore it's coming minus dr by r square and here also minus dr2 by r square okay now dr1 and dr2 we know so you know like uh, if it is increases temperature increases so therefore r1 alpha t this is the uh, resistance increase so therefore dr1 we are writing as r alpha 1t and dr2 is r alpha 2t because r1 and r2 both are same as r okay and here r by 2 which was the r equivalent this also I should have increase so that is r by 2 into alpha equivalent into so therefore we have this entire thing as alpha is equal to alpha 1 plus alpha 2 divided by 2. Thank you.